How do we find the derivative of x to the power of e to the power of x? Well, in this function, we have x in the base and in the exponent, so this is a typical example of when we have to use a logarithmic differentiation. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing this technique, but hopefully you'll get a hang of it here. So here's what we do. First, give our function that we're trying to differentiate a name. Let's call it y. Then, to get this variable out of the exponent, we're going to take the natural log on both sides. So we have the natural log of y on the left, and the natural log of x to the e to the x on the right. This is where we use our log rules. x to a power, in a log, we can rewrite with the power brought outside as a factor. So this, we can rewrite as this, bringing that power outside, so we have e to the x times ln x. And of course, we still have ln y on the left. Now, we'll take the derivative on both sides of this equation, and we're going to have to use implicit differentiation. So on the left, we have the derivative of ln y with respect to x, and on the right, we have the derivative of e to the x ln x, so we'll need the product rule for that. Now, the derivative of ln y is just 1 over y, but since y is a function of x, by the chain rule, we also have to multiply by dy dx. On the right, we have f prime g plus g prime f, that's the product rule, so the derivative of the first function, which is e to the x, times the second function, plus the derivative of the second function times the first function. That leaves us here. Now the whole point is to find the derivative of our function, dy dx, so we just have to solve for dy dx. To do that, we multiply both sides of this equation by y. That will cancel the 1 over y out on the left, and on the right, we're multiplying by y but we know that y equals x to the e to the x, so let's write it like that. And that gets us here. On the left, we just have dy dx, that's the derivative of our function, and on the right, we see what that derivative is. It's e to the x ln x plus 1 over x e to the x, which is the same as e to the x over x, multiplied by y, which is x to the e to the x. Now, you could try distributing this and rewriting this a few different ways, but frankly, I think this is as good a way to write it as any. So that's the derivative of x to the e to the x. It's x to the e to the x times e to the x ln x plus e to the x over x. And that's how to use logarithmic differentiation to solve this problem. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Love. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.